Minnesotans are heading to the polls today for the primary election. Turnout is expected to be light, the Secretary of State's office projecting about 10 to 15 percent. Republicans will decide who they want to face off against Governor Mark Dayton and Senator Al Franken, among other races. On the Democratic side, the main event is the race for state auditor. And WCCO political reporter Pat Kessler is here with a look at the races and... Uh, Slow going, huh? So far it is. Uh, around the state, slow going. Uh, turnout is in the primaries in Minnesota has been dropping for 20 years now. And for Republicans, the four-way governor's race is the most hotly contested primary in 20 years. Hennepin County Commissioner Jeff Johnson has the official party endorsement. Tonight we're going to see how much that matters. Businessman Scott Honor is a first-time candidate. Former House Speaker Kurt Zellers and former House Minority Leader Marty Seifert. They're running on legislative experience. Now, Amelia, Republicans are also going to pick a candidate to run against incumbent Democratic Senator Al Franken. That's a very yeah. big race. Uh, Mike McFadden is a longtime business leader. It's his first campaign for public office. He is challenged by State Representative Jim Abler who's a health care expert. So a lot to watch on that race, too. Yeah, we're also keeping a close eye on the Democratic race for state auditor. Uh, yeah, normally yeah. this is a sleeper race, but this time, this year, this is contested. The Democratic uh, incumbent, Rebecca Otto, seeking a third term as auditor. She's challenged by former House Minority Leader Matt Intenza, who says she's not progressive enough. So it's all about turnout tonight, especially in the Republican governor's race. The candidate who will face Mark Dayton could win this primary. The Republican with only 30,000 votes and possible yeah. this could go late into the night. All right, Pat. Thank you. You bet. And you can look for results on WCCO.com once the polls close at 8 o'clock. And, of course, Pat will be back with a full recap on WCCO 4 News at 10.